Hi, I'm Ian from Stories and Light Photography and with my son Andrew we're going to do some photography experiments. It was his science fair project in grade 7 last year. What you need is a white dinner plate, camera on a tripod, q-tips, a little dish of dish soap, assorted colors of food coloring, and milk. Okay, so we're going to begin. We're going to take just some regular milk. This is 2%, but you get different um, reactions based on the fat content in the milk. So whole milk or 1%, the reaction will be slower. And just fill up uh, the, the, the dish dinner plate a little bit, maybe quarter inch, three or four millimeters. Uh, and we're going to put in some food coloring. Take four different colors. Just uh, put a little drop close to the center, a few drops of each color. So we've got some blue, some yellow, some green, and we'll put in some red. The next thing you do is you take a Q-tip and you dip it in dish soap. Okay? What has going to happen is you dip the Q-tip in the dish soap and then you plunge the Q-tip into the middle of the plate filled with the milk and food coloring. The fat molecules in the milk where the science comes in, kids. The fat molecules in the milk will bind to the soap and explode in a kaleidoscope. So, we're going to switch over now to a different camera. We're going to show you what happens, and then we'll uh, show you some of the pictures we captured. You can see the plate with the milk. We've got different sorts of food coloring. I've got my camera set up in burst mode because the reaction is pretty fast and cool so I'm going to be taking six frames a second and Andrew is let me make sure I got the camera pointed at the right part we're using an 18 to 55 millimeter lens Nikkor okay Andrew's going to put the dish soap on a q-tip into the three two one Boom! As you can see, the fat molecules are binding to the food coloring and making it move in different, uh, different kaleidoscope patterns. As you can see, I put the uh, blue food coloring in already. A few drops of yellow. A few drops green and a few drops of red. Let me just pull back a little bit on the video here so you can see more of what's going to happen. We dip the Q-tip in the dish soap. We're going to plunge it right in the middle. Here we go. You can see how everything explodes in a kaleidoscope. You can go over here a little more dish soap over there, keeps it moving again. More dish soap down here. A little bit over here. You can also stir it up a little bit. That gives you a nice swirling color pattern. There's more science behind this, which you can look up on the internet. But there's a cool little photo project, and we're going to take some photos now and maybe some macro stuff and uh, enjoy. Give it a try at home. Thanks for watching.